If the art of marketing is to focus on a segment of the market, why wouldn't a marketing company do the same? Loretta Lamb started Focus Communications 15 years ago, a company that specializes in reaching the South Asian community in Canada. Today, we see an Asian influence across this country, but a lot of people initially missed this opportunity, including her former employer. Lamb didn't have plans to open her own business, but the prospect seemed too good to pass by. I think I do have the entrepreneurial thinking or spirit in my, you know, in myself. But the thing is, it never sparkled until um, I came to Canada after a few years working with someone else, and I saw the opportunity. I talked to my boss, but he didn't see or he didn't agree with me. So because of that, that's actually I was telling myself that. Well, then, if you don't believe it and I believe in it, then maybe I should start on myself. And it worked out very well, actually. I never actually realized that I have that kind of entrepreneurial skill set and, and spirit. There's a diversity of ethnic communities within our region. Lam made the decision to go with what you know, and a lot of her future clients agreed. Currently, I'm seeing the biggest demand for the what we call the uh, ethnic communication will be like the South Asian, the Chinese, and also some Korean as well. Um, but typically, the South Asian and Chinese are the biggest ethnic group here, and they continue to be the biggest in the next decade. So I would say that uh, we definitely need to target these two big groups. Lam's formal education is not in marketing. She picked up her skills through self-study and experience. She shares some advice on how she started out. First of all, you have to understand what is your advantage, what is your uh, strength, and use that uh, as your marketing tool, first of all. Marketing is not just advertising because, especially when you're a startup, you don't have a lot of budget, okay? You can't afford to spend too much time on advertising. So you rather have actually spend on time on networking and do your homework. Like I said earlier, you network with the different groups of people who will actually work to your advantage, who can refer business to you, okay? And get yourself known in the community. So that's very important. That's what I call marketing as well. And then the second thing is how you work with the media to get exposure in the public. Uh, if you look at the successful entrepreneurs, a lot of them behind, uh, they have actually contributed a lot of hard work, a lot of homework. The reason I say homework is before you go out and target a particular marketplace or come up with a new product or services, you have to do a lot of research. Be intelligently, you know, be able to know about your marketplace is very, very important. And the next thing is hard work. You have to work long hours. Uh, you have to uh, motivate your people who work with you. So there's a lot behind it. It's not just mere luck. Loretta has managed to grow Focus Communications into a successful business. With a strong desire to keep growing her company, she now has her sights on taking their expertise international. Definitely, I'm always looking for, for growth. Like my company, when I first started off 14 years ago, I started from home, one-man band, and then grow them from there and uh, I would actually like to expand my client base um, there are certain type of clients I would like to get uh, you know uh, related with and in addition I'm also looking globally like how can I expand further in terms of my services and support in uh, greater China um, try to make use of my expertise and also my advantage for being to be able to understand both the Canadian also the Chinese cultures Big Fish Video Production.